So I have been getting a ton of messages about this thing and what I did to it and how I built it. So today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what I've done to this Chapin 97902 to make it the way I want it to be. So the first thing that you're gonna notice, obviously, is the boom that I've added to the sprayer. These come with a single height adjustable nozzle on the end of it. And that gives you about a 20 inch spray. Well, I wanted more than that just because of how much spraying that I do. So I've added boom and two T-Jet bodies and two T-Jet nozzles, and these are quick disconnects. So anytime that I need to change the nozzle, I can just twist it on, twist it off, and that's all the longer that it takes to change out the nozzle. So the most important thing when you're building a boom like this is your spacing. Your spacing from middle to middle needs to be the same as from your tip to the ground when you're in the position of applying. When it's sitting down, that's not the right thing. When you're actually applying, that distance from the ground needs to be equal from the center of each tip. On the tank, I added a pressure bypass valve. So depending on the nozzle that I'm using, they require different pressures for different droplet size. So I added a pressure bypass valve so I can adjust that pressure to wherever I need it to be for each nozzle. So the setup on this is very simple. This is a stock pump. They have 3 8 inch barbs on them. So I just replace the hose into a 3 8 to 3 quarter T, which flows this way to the boom. And as the pressure builds up, if it builds up past what I have here, it just recirculates it back into the tank. Out of the T goes into another T and into each nozzle body. Each nozzle body is mounted to this boom using a T-Jet body clamp. These are three quarter inch clamps. This is a three quarter inch pipe. I did find that these were slightly too big. So I had to add a rubber strip to the inside of them to make it tight to where they wouldn't move. This boom does move some on its own just because of the way it mounts to the tank, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So the boom itself is just three quarter inch metal conduit for inside your house. I painted it red just to make it look a little nicer. These are just light clamps that you can find on Amazon. I'll put the link in the bottom. And I just used a 3 8 inch T for all the piping. So this is a very simple, not very expensive setup. You can go more than this. You can go dual. You can probably go three tips if four, but you're gonna have to upgrade the pump at that point, which I plan on doing at some point. So let's throw some fluid in here and I'll show you how it works. All right, so I'm due for RGS and Humic, so I'm just gonna throw these down. I'll show you how quickly that we can cover 2,500 square feet. We're gonna do both at max rate. So we're gonna do 18 ounces of Humic and 18 ounces of RGS. Hey, hey, always strain your biostimulants, always.
And that's all the longer it takes to do 2,500 square feet with this thing. Uh, the biggest problem is the stock pump. With this setup, I can't get the PSI that I need for these nozzles to get the droplet size that I want. So eventually I am gonna to have to upgrade the pump. But if you're not worried about everything to be that particular like I am on this, straight out of the box. This is the best sprayer that I've ever used. I had no need to modify any of this. This was all purely want and desire. I wanted it to be something a little bit more than what it was. I wanted it to be a little bit cooler. But right out of the box, there's no reason to modify this thing. If you're just doing random spray, if you're just, if you're someone that likes to spray, but you're not worried about saving as much time as you possibly can, buy this, leave it alone, put a T-Jet nozzle on it, and you'll love it. This was all purely desire, like I said. Buy the Chapin 97902. You're gonna love it.